what do we want to upgrade here? Buckler makes it easier to use. I could probably get one buckler per turn with this since I often put like fives into it. I think that might be actually a good upgrade. Bump, not too important. I feel like I usually get good stuff so that I only really need to use bump once. Restoring three HP is good. So I think in terms of the health benefit, Buckler provides more benefit than Venus Flytrap upgrade because this gives me one more HP if I do it correctly. Buckler basically guarantees I get four shield each turn because I can't like this, but I tend to get fives or sixes as extra, so I can probably do that. Other things on here, not too important. On even inflict a weaken. I mean, it's pretty good, but I don't really see a place for it in my setup, so I'm doing that. All right, Gargoyle, fight me. Normally, I'd feel pretty happy with being 3 HP down, but at the same time, I only have 13 HP total, and it, or 16 HP total, and 13 HP currently, so not, not great. We will be able to deal good damage, though, so that's nice. There we go. Let's re-roll my dice. There we go. Wonderful. Go ahead and get four shield. Now we basically have 19 health, in a way. Does he have any poison? No. Okay. So we'll be good. Oh no! I'm gonna I'm gonna make it so we can always lock one of my dice, which is a bit of a problem. But you know what? I don't think it's too big a problem that it like worries me or anything. There we go. Full HP. Not that it matters too much for my setup. Some more shield. Do I want to freeze his dice, or do I just want to go for max damage? Uh, I think it depends on what I get this time. There we go, max damage, yep. Goggle! Ow! Oh. Okay, we're taking him pretty well, though. Let's not bump up yet. I like to always reroll the twos, because they're probably the least useful number for me in my setup. There we go. Great work. Great work. Bump this up to a... Mm, I kind of want to just... I won't be able to kill him this turn is the thing. And, okay, so this is a situation where having one more bump would have been useful. Because I can't get Buckler with this. Even if I bump it up. I mean, I can bump it up and deal 4 damage or provide some more to the Buckler. Regardless, this isn't going. Neither is going to help me too much. I'm going to finish him next turn. So I'd say a little bit extra damage is probably better. Because even if I got Buckler next turn anyway, wouldn't matter to. Oh, he's. You know what? Never mind. Get wrecked, nerd. Gonna lock two dice, but it doesn't stop me. Another thing I wanted to mention, just real quick, while I have the chance, is this past week we actually had our school's a award ceremony. And by this past week, I really mean yesterday, as of this recording. And I am pretty hyped up right now, because I did super well, and I don't even know what's going on in my life, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh. But the award ceremony this year, like, people were so nice to me, I don't know, I, I won an award for both, I won both big awards, one is the one chosen by my peers, so my, fac so my students, my classmates. And that's the um, Gold Star Professionalism Award, which I won. And I won it last year as well. So I was like, there's no way that they'd give it to me two years in a row. Like, I thought that even if I did get the most votes, teachers would want someone else. No, they gave it to me two years in a row, that award. And then the other big award is the, like, Student of the Year Award, which is the one voted on by the teachers and faculty and staff at the school for one student they decide who rose above the rest. And they gave that one to me as well. And they were so, like... But they read out some messages by students who nominated me and by the teachers and staff and stuff, and they were so nice, and I don't even know. Like, I still feel like I don't know anything is the thing, but I really appreciated it. It was such a really nice award ceremony. And also, the organization I'm president of at my school, which is IPHO, has to do with industry pharmacy, um, won the award for professional development. So there are three organization awards, one for, like, community service, one for, like, philanthropy and one for professional development events. And ours, the one that I'm president of, that I took over on a whim this past year, won the professional one. And it's, it was crazy. I don't even know. I'm super excited though. Like, it just motivates me to just keep on working harder. I think I might do Venus Flytrap now, actually, just to restore a bit more HP. 
would doing another snowball one be nice? Do you want extra damage with it? No, I'm gonna go Venus Flytrap. All right. Just maximize the, the amount of longevity I can have in the battle. Who knows? It might make all the difference in this. Kraken. It, it, it was a really long award show, though. It was like an hour and a half. It was Disney-themed this year. So there was a whole lot of Disney music and people dressing up and stuff. I didn't have a Disney uniform. I just dressed up in like a nice suit and stuff and put a Disney background on Zoom. It was virtual because everything's virtual this year. And... We had a great time listening to them give out all sorts of different awards to different people from different classes, and they, there was like a video from the from the third year class to commemorate their time in school, and all sorts of cool stuff. I loved it. It was a good. It was a good time. Okay, so Buckler or not Buckler? Um, I forgot what that was. <laughs> What's the name of that move again? All right, put that in there. Put this in here. Oh, maybe I should have rolled and tried to get a 5. You know what? I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to do this. And... There we go. So Kraken can be a bit of a pain. As long as we keep his dice low, though, and keep him from doing too much, it's not too big a deal, I think. I think we can handle him. He didn't curse me, right? No, he didn't curse me, so that's fine. Let's just do the big stuff. So, actually, would it be best to bump this one up and just get another dice? Or does that not matter? Okay, that didn't really help. Okay, that didn't really help either. I say yeah. Let's do that. Do this. And see what we get out of this. Okay, well we can definitely snowball. I say whatever we get out of this rust reroll, we'll decide on what we put it in. That's fine. Ugh, he got some high rolls this time. But at least he doesn't have a 4 to curse me. The curse is always frustrating. Get out of here. Let's just throw whatever this is into a battle axe. Oh, it's a high number. So we can probably put this into Venus Flytrap then. And do a good damage. Alright. And now can we do this? Also a high number. So we can probably put it into Buckler. And we can definitely put it into Buckler and make it work. This is strategy. Pro strats. Okay, I was originally thinking of putting this into one video, but you know what? I'll probably divide it into two, just because this next week is just so busy for me, and I don't know if I'll have more time to record more Dicey Dungeons at the moment. So yeah, so even though I said earlier it might be in one video, this will probably be in the second video. <laughs> Battle Axe, get out of here. That was a really good Kraken fight. It went super well. Okay, and Skelebro. I want to have 14 HP after this last level up. Just saying. It's going to be rough on this last battle. Let's see. Do I, what do I want to do with the 6? Do I want to deal with just massive damage? First, let's do this. I'm going to freeze on. Do this. I keep forgetting that the freeze is... It also deals damage, so it's best to put a 5 into that, not a 1. But you know what? It's fine. I can bump this up if I want another dice, but I don't really need to, I don't think. Let's we'll see if we can get a 4 out of this. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, he can deal 4 damage and nothing else. Which is not that bad, because I can heal 3 damage immediately. This is a really nice setup. Really nice setup. There you go. I actually want to re-roll this to see if I get a 2 or a 3 or a 4, it'll be nice. Or a 5, I should say. Because if it was a 2, I could bring it back up to a 3, so it would be no problem. If it was a 3, I could also just keep it there. If it was a 4 or a 5, though, could increase it. So I think the odds were in my favor for re-rolling that. And it was, so it worked out. Ow! Ow! Can I waste this curse on something dumb? There we go. <laughs> Let's see, if I do two fives here... Or no, if I do th two times three, so six, twelve... Yeah, I got them. Okay. And I can finish them. But I do want to reroll this too, just for fun. Give them a nice little freeze. Or maybe I should have rerolled until I... To see if I can get a six, so I can get some heal. Oh shit, I'll heal up anyway. Though I will lose max HP. Chocolate cookie. 
Was it a good idea to go for that last level up? I'm not sure if it was. I mean, I have the money, so might as well just go ahead and nab it. Let's see. Is there any way we can change our setup to be better? The only things that I, I would be fine with switching out are Bump and Snowball, because the rest are pretty nice parts of my build and already, like, upgraded. These two are maybe not necessary. I'll just see. Is there anything better? So this will discharge from taking... That's terrible. Get that out of here. Shovel. Chocolate cookie. Repeat. No, I'm not using that. Last stand. I don't think I'm going to use last stand. So one of so any of these three might be decent. Iron shield. I don't think I'll be using iron shield either because I already have buckler and that provides shield pretty consistent. Actually, hmm, hmm. Now that I think about it, iron shield might not be terrible. Because rather than having bump and... I already have a lot of dice, so my odds of getting good dice are high. And I don't really need bump because I already have dice manipulation with the rerolls. Snowball's alright, but it only freezes one dice, and I often end up putting a 1 into it and forgetting to, that it can deal more damage. Getting Iron Shield just with Buckler, consistently getting good amounts of shield every turn, I can get like 10 shield a turn if I put good stuff into both. I think that's a good prospect, and then Battle Axe and Venus Flytrap can deal the majority of the damage. I think that's a good setup, and I'll just use Longevity to survive. And then Shovel. Shovel is pretty good, actually. Dealing one weaken, but I feel like they're going to have more than one dice, and... I think it's a bit too risky to rely on it hitting the, like, the, or more than, yeah, more than one card, I should say. And it's a bit risky to rely on weakening the exact card that I want it to. And Crystal Sword deals massive damage, so I could take them out a lot faster if I used it. But I feel like having the survival is better with my current modifier than having just massive damage. So let's go with this, see how it works out against uh -huh. fit. Is that how you pronounce it? I keep forgetting. Every time. Owie <laughs> fae! Ah, hinga dinga durgen! I take you on. On guard! Uh, my dentist told me I shouldn't fight after I brush my teeth. <laughs> 9 out of 10 dentists recommend not fighting. So I fought her. I won, obviously. Well, you know what? You killed an innocent dentist. He worked his whole life to get to a position where he could treat people's teeth, and you killed them. How could you? How could you? All right. So let's see if we can bring this one up. I want to get a six if I can. Nope, just fives. That's fine. We got a lot of shields. What are you going to do? Add shield. It's not too bad. I can tank all of this, actually. Yeah, my, my longevity is really nice with this setup, so long as I get decent rolls, which is not seeming to be the case this turn. I think having that bump is, like, a pretty decent addition to my dice manipulation, not gonna lie. But still, this works out quite well regardless, I think. It's not a perfect build, though, because I'm left with one dice at the end, and that probably means that I could have been more efficient, but it's fine. Okay, you're going to add, like, five shield this- Oh, nine! Oh, no, seven. But you're not going to be able to shield bash this turn. Okay, and I'll take out your shield before you'll have a chance to! Let's see... I want to reroll these once, definitely. Okay, five. That's good. Button buckler. We can get a heal on, but we don't really need the heal from that. I'm gonna reroll this two. Got a one. Kind of garbo. We're not gonna use that one. Okay, so do we wanna put the six into damage or six into shield? I'm thinking into shield. I'm gonna out shield Weefei, the shield master. That is my plan. So I'll take out your shield every turn and I'll just keep shielding more than you can. Oh, she's adding so more every single turn though. Jesus. Jesus! This is actually getting bad. She's getting high rolls. Really high rolls. I mean, I can take it out for sure. So that's good, at least. Okay, six damage. Or six shield. I say... Six shield. And I'll deal four damage. I'm dealing such little damage each turn. Okay, these rolls aren't as good at least, so. You're gonna add 
Oh, not that much shield actually. You're wanting to deal more damage straight up, I guess. So you want to. So Weefei tends to build more shield whenever they're pretty certain they can get the shield bash out that turn, which makes sense. I'm not getting great rolls either though. At least I can deal some damage this turn. Okay, well, please give me something higher than the two. Okay, there we go. Actually, do I want to do that or let's re-roll this two first? We got a three. Okay, so we can do five here. I think this is more efficient, because if we put five there, we just get four shield. But this time we'll get five shield, and we put these in here, and we'll get four more. Thirteen. It's a prolonged fight. <laughs> she's going to get shield bash this turn, that's for sure. So she's going to add as much as she can. But it's fine. I'm out shielding now. All right. That's good. That's real good. Add more. I want to get at least a five. There we go. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can get this to be higher than this four. Oh yeah! <laughs> we're we're gonna beat her. There's no way that they can take us out, I say, very cockily. As they get nine shield and are able to deal four damage and then a shield bash immediately. I'm so glad I added this shield to my build though. Just saying. Come on. Give me a higher roll than one, please. Three. I mean it's okay. What about this one? Six! Okay, I know where that's going. Hopefully she doesn't roll so high and just deal like 15 damage again this turn. She's gonna shield bash again. Dang it. Oh, this is not good. She's gonna deal a lot of damage this turn again. But I'm still shielded. <laughs> Even when she deals like almost 15 damage, I can still tank it pretty well. And I can always take out her shield because I do a, a good amount of damage myself. I got so many threes. Let's do that. Not ideal. There we go. Ooh. I think it's best to put the threes into here because this will deal more damage. Alright. Ten shield. What are you going to do? Not enough to beat me. That's what. A lot of damage though. Ooh. Okay, uh, oh, I don't know why I was exaggerating there. Okay, why I was reacting so much. For a moment, I thought they had enough to do the shield bash as well, and they would have done, like, eight more damage beyond that, and that would have hit me pretty hard. It wouldn't have been too big a deal, though, because I can heal three HP every turn, plus I think I win. Actually, I don't think I do. I don't think I can deal enough damage to take her out in one turn. I can take out your shield, at the very least. Add shield to my... S hmm, wait, do I want to do that, or do I want... Maximum shield, I think, is what we're going for again. However much we get on these rolls is how much damage we deal this turn. Five. Next turn, you're down and out of here, unless you- Oh, Jesus! <laughs> well, you can't do too much with that anyway. I mean, you can definitely shield bash, so... We face the worst if she gets- I just saw a ton of sixes and I was like, jeez. But yeah, they, they require a five or less, thank the lord, to be able to add shield. So, yeah, if they were all fives, that's like the real hard part with them. That's a, that's a real problem, but we win. We win now. Even if I just do a Venus flytrap, I'll just straight up win. But just to add insult to injury, boop, 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 boop. Just 12 shield against your measly three. Let's see if I can get this to be a six. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Let's just do quick calculations real quick. We can deal right now eight plus six, 14 damage. And how much you got? You got six total with your shield? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll battle that. You know what, actually, I'll Venus Flytrap you because I'll just say that I could have healed three HP as well. Nerd. <laughs> you know, none of your contestants have won your heart's desire yet. What a baffling stretch of bad luck. Anyway, it's time for one more unlucky spin of the wheel. What do you mean? It's perfectly lucky. I have very great luck, okay? Actually, that's a lie. <laughs> when it comes to luck-based games, I generally don't have that great luck. I do have good business acumen, though, so I'm, I'm, I'm apparently quite good at Monopoly. I think I won, like, six games of Monopoly in a row with my friends. Um, I don't think they like playing Monopoly with me anymore, though. <laughs> so, I don't know, I'm, I'm good at the at the wheeling and dealing, all getting favorable trades and all that sort of stuff. Oof, how unfortunate. Probably next time though, right? 
Right. Well, how rude. Anyway, hopefully you all enjoyed this episode of Dicey Dungeons. That's all for now. I really enjoyed that run, actually. I actually really like the warrior. The warrior is a fun character to play as because they're so straightforward. And I just like dealing massive damage. Anytime I play games, that's just what I like. I just like winning and dealing massive damage. That's me. I want to get up close. I want to go in for the kill. I want to be the hero. That's me in games. So, hope if you enjoyed, I'd appreciate a like, comment, or a subscription. It really does help. That's all for now. And I hope to see you on the next adventure.